G'day you bloody legend, Shane Mostyn here. Today we are talking about Star Trail photography with the Pixel 6. Let's get into it. <laughs> definitely argue and probably very successfully argue that the pixel range of cameras is the best platform to take astrophotography photos. It's just that it takes a bloody long time with the 4 minutes and 16 seconds or as long as that. So what we're going to talk about here is how we actually capture images like this with the Pixel series cameras. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a Pixel, you're going to need a phone holder, you're going to need a tripod, and you're going to need a couple of apps. You're going to need the intervalometer app, and you're going to need the Star Trails or Light Trails app. Now, if you don't know what an intervalometer is, basically it's, a, it's an apparatus. In this particular case, it's an app that's going to push that shutter button every time that it tells it to. So you set it at a predetermined time and it will hit that shutter button for you. You don't even need to be there. And that's really important for what we're doing here. So in a nutshell, the way this is going to work is that we're going to take a series of astrophotography photos Oh, in, in this case here, over, over about an hour or so. So it's going to take a heap of those, it's going to save them on the phone, we're going to get those photos and stack them in another app to give us those star trails. So we need to work out how long we want that interval to be. And when it comes to astrophotography on that pixel, it's going to shoot for about four minutes and six seconds. If it's different for you, just work it out to be a different amount of time that you want to put on that intervalometer. You want to have about 10 to 15 seconds between shots so that it gives that camera a little bit of time to cool down. And then you can set it to infinite or you can set it to a number of shots. I just set it to infinite and I'll come out and hit stop when I'm ready. When, once you've done that, that little red button there, you're going to put that over the top of the shutter button and you're good to go. That phone is going to take photos every 256 seconds or whatever it is that I just said. And every single time that, that photo finishes, it's going to take another one and then another one and another one until I stop it. And at the end of the day, we've got a heap of photos. So once we've got all these photos done, we're going to go into the Light Trails app and load all those photos in there. And it does all this automatically. You just select the photos and let the app work its magic. Once it's done, export it into your photos and you're done. There is the Star Trail photo. And that from a pixel is pretty much the standard sort of situation. It's not going to be perfect lines like I can get with an iPhone or like I can get with another Android device. But uh, this, because we've got that four minute interval, there's going to be little gaps between those trails. And that's just the way it is. Um, we've got a really good phone for astrophotography, but not quite so much for star trails. But it's better than not doing it at all. The best thing about this though is every time, if you didn't know, every time that you take one of these four minute photos, you also get a one and a half second, two second video as well. So you can make some pretty cool time lapses just like this. That's it for today, guys. I'll catch you later.